I'll be showing the brand new parent and guardian connection in Teams for Education. I'm here in Teams signed in as the educator. And what I'm gonna do is go to this brand new parents link right here that shows up in the top left of the class team. Now one note, my IT administrator has already set up parents. The way that the parent emails come into Teams is through School Data Sync, and we're able to pull in all the parents and map them to the students. There's a link on the screen that you can share with your IT administrator and show exactly how this gets set up. I also have a link in the description. So we're gonna assume this has already been set up with all of the parent emails. Now as the educator, I'm gonna click right here on parents. Now what you see is all the list of my students on the left, but right here you have the parent and guardian names. So I can see the names of you know Ashley, the parents are River and Justice, and over on the right is the ability to start a chat. So in this case, I'm gonna scroll down and I wanna start a chat with Omar's parents, Riley and Salem. I'm gonna go click on the chat here and this pops up a new chat message. And it says some people in this chat are outside your org because I'm in the school system and Omar's parents have consumer IDs or they're in other systems, not in this school system. And it tells me right here where it's gonna send an email to. So I'll paste in my message here and also note it says external and what I'm gonna do is hit the little send button. Now this is sent out that chat message. Now the parents of Omar might not have ever used Teams. And so what happens is we send an email message to the parents that gives them a link so they can sign up and start using Teams to chat back and forth. Now what I'm gonna do is switch over to a different parent. We're gonna assume that I sent off this message. Now we're gonna go talk to Adele's parents and Charlie Vance. He has an Outlook account, but this also works with Gmail or any other type of email. I'm gonna go in and sign in as Charlie and show what it looks like to receive an invite to Teams. Here's an example where I sent a message to Charlie and that is Adele's dad. Now Charlie here gets a message that says, hey, Arden Asher, that's the teacher from social studies is trying to reach you in Teams. Charlie can click on go to Teams and it's gonna prompt him to make sure that he has the right account to sign in. So I'm using Outlook.com here, but you could be using Gmail or you could be using Yahoo Mail or any other type of mail. But Teams will prompt you to make sure that you have a Microsoft account behind the scenes to be able to sign in. And I'm not gonna show that entire process here, but when you go to Teams, Charlie will have to make sure that he has a linked Microsoft account behind the scenes. What I'm gonna do next is sign in with a different parent and show what it looks like if you already had a Teams account just signing in and responding to that message from a teacher. I'm signed in as Bellamy Vance. This is the mother of Adele, and I already have my Teams for life. This is the consumer version of Teams in the web, and it's free. I have a message here, and it says Adele Vance. That's my daughter, and this is the class. So if I click on this, here is a chat from Arden Asher. That's the teacher, and he's saying, hey, I'd love to grab time to talk about Adele. So as a parent here, I can just type back, I've typed my message just like I would in a chat in Teams, and I will send this back. So Bellamy, the parent, just sent a message back to Arden, the teacher. So let's switch back to Arden in the social studies class and see how this shows up for him. I'm signed in here as Arden, the teacher in social studies, and it looks like there's a new chat. So I'll click here, and there's that chat. This is from Adele Vance. It's actually Bellamy, the parent, but this is the name of the chat, is the student, and then the class name. And it looks like, okay, sounds good, see you then. This makes it really easy to have chat conversations back and forth with parents. Going back into the team and clicking on parents again, I can go over here and chat with any of these parents and just by clicking here, I'll start that chat. And if they haven't ever had a chat, this will invite them to Teams and let them be able to get themselves set up and have a chat with the educator. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.